Okay, in this video we're going to look at quadratic factorization. And we're only looking at quadratic factorization when it's x squared plus bx plus c. In other words, when there's no number in front of the x squared. Uh, watch the other video on that to look up qu uh, quadratic factorization and you should see two videos. So look at the other video if there's a number in front of the x squared because it's slightly different. So, uh, first of all, let's have a look at what happens whenever you expand brackets. Uh, you may have heard the term FOIL whenever you expand brackets like this. So x times x is x squared. x times 2 is plus 2x. 5 times x, which is plus 5x. And 5 times 2, which is plus 10. So you're going to get x squared plus 7x plus 10. So what we're going to be doing is, whenever we're factorising, you've got to be given an expression such, such as this, and you've got to go br uh, back into the two brackets. Okay. Now, let's just look at some things. Uh, if you've got a quadratic, x squared, an x and a number, uh, you're going to have an x at the front of both brackets. So that's only, by the way, if there's no number in front of the x. Okay. Uh, look at the other video if that's the case. So if you've got an x squared, it's going to be x and x. Now, look at the 5 and the 2. Well, 5 times 2 is 10. So the two numbers inside of the brackets will times together to give you the number on the end. And look, 5 plus 2 is 7. So they add together to give you the coefficient of x, the number in front of the x. Okay. So whenever you're deciding the two numbers that go inside of the brackets, they will times together to give you the number on the end. And they will add together to give you the number in front of the x, the coefficient of x. Okay, uh, so let's have a look at a couple of examples. Okay, so we've been asked to factorise x squared plus 8x plus 15. So first of all, let's put our two brackets down and put an x in the front of both of them. Now the two numbers will times together to give you 15 and add together to give you 8. So the numbers that times together to give you 15 could be 1 and 15, uh, 3 and 5. Okay, now they're going to add together to give you 8, so clearly you can see that it's going to be plus 3 and plus 5. Let's just check it. x squared plus 5x plus 3x, well that's the 8x, plus 15. Okay, and that's it done. Let's have a look at another one and let's put in some negatives. Right, so we've been asked to factorise x squared plus 3x minus 18. So again, the two numbers were times together to give you minus 18 and add together to give you 3. So let's put our two brackets down. x and x. We're going to times together to give you minus 18. So let's start off with that. So it could be 1, oh, it could be uh, 1 and minus 18. Remember, if it times together to give you a negative, okay, one's going to be positive and one's going to be negative. So it could be 1 and 18, or negative 18, 1 and minus 18, or negative 18. Uh, it could be 18 and minus 1. You could have 2 and minus 9, or minus 2 and 9. Uh, you could also have uh, 3 and minus 6, minus 3 and 6. Uh, and that's it. There are the, the factor pairs of 18, minus 18. So uh, they're going to have to times together to give you minus 18. So all of these would work. But they're going to have to add together to give you 3. So no, 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 no. The bottom one. Minus 3 plus 6 is 3. So the answer would be x minus 3, x plus 6. So that's what that would be uh, factorised. Let's just check it. x squared plus 6x minus 3x. Well, 6x minus 3x is 3x minus 18. So it's x minus 3, x plus 3. Okay, this time we've been asked to factorise x squared minus 4x plus 4. So again, start off with your brackets. x in both of them. They're going to times together to give you 4, the numbers, and they're going to add together to give you minus 4. What's well, interesting going to times together to give you a positive, but add together to give you a negative. Now, remember, to times together to give you a positive, it could be a positive times a positive, or a negative times a negative. Now, because they add together to give you a minus number, well, a positive, times, or a positive plus a positive would be a positive. So it's going to have to be two minuses in here. Okay? So let's think of two negatives times together to give you four, where you could have minus one and minus four, or minus two and and minus 2. Minus 1 times minus 4 is 4, and minus 2 times minus 2 is 4. Now they're going to add together to give you minus 4, well minus 1 plus minus 4 would be minus 5. Minus 2 plus minus 2, well that would be minus 4. So it's going to be minus 2 and minus 2. Let's just check that. x squared minus 2x minus 2x, so that's the minus 4x plus 4. So that's it done.